Bonjour, welcome back to Regen Rovers. Today it is episode 67 in the series. Excuse all the crap behind me, including this this lamp here. We're we're decorating still, and the carpet's going out tomorrow. So all the all the stuff's been plumped into this room, and I've got about three suitcases next to me. You can't see them, but yeah, it's it's a bit hectic at the moment. But Regen Rovers, on we go. And you will have gathered from the title of today's episode that we have a leaky defence. Jack Young, he can't sort out the plumbing at the back. We're obviously not playing at Plumbing Park. Maybe that's the issue. Uh, the other issue is the, the update possibly has had an impact. I've had to change things since the update, that's for sure. The winter update, for those of you that don't know what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, we conceded four goals, three league games in a row against Berry, Crewe and York City. We have won two other games. We managed to, to win in the league trophy, the Football League trophy against League One Forest Green. Not a bad result. And since changing things in the last game, maybe, maybe I've rectif rectified, rect rectified, is that? yeah, rectified. That's a word, isn't it? I've suddenly forgotten if rectified is a word or not. Of course it is. You know when you just get that sort of thing where you, you say a word and you think, is that a real word? It is. Anyway, uh, I'll show you the goals. Poor defeat against Berry though. Uh, we've conceded a few free kicks as well. A lot of free kicks flying in. However, we did open the scoring in this game, and Mark Ball continues to score. You can see the stats. You can see we've not had this for a long time. It, I think it's a combination of firstly playing against better opposition, secondly the updates made my defence concede a lot more shots for whatever reason. I might be making it, the excuses. I probably am making excuses. Perhaps my defence is my crap. My defence has always been a bit crap, hasn't it? But this was this was really. I know we lost against Crew, but it was so pleasing to see. Luke Mooney score against his old club, the club that refused to play him in the first team for four seasons. I just had to play Luke Mooney against them and, and he punished them. He punished them with a classic Luke Mooney goal, running onto it and firing past the keeper. Mark Cole also scored for us a quarter of a long punt. He actually got the assist for this. It, it is a lovely finish from Mark Cole to be fair. But back to winning ways against Forest Green in the Football League Trophy. Very impressive win against a League One team. Vegan Rovers, Forest, Ro Forest Green Rovers. Perry Mills opened the scoring. They got back into it. But Toby Brazil, who I think a lot of you guys are fans of, looking at the comments from the first couple of videos of the season. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a good player, is Toby Brazil. He's our best midfielder and it was good to see him score this, slashing it in with his left foot. Back to losing ways against York City though. It was a pretty crazy game. We played in our, our third kit today in our green kit. Good to see Elliot Averson manage to get a couple goals. This was a, 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 t a nice finish really, took it around the defender. Unfortunately, it never really looked like we were going to get back into this. They created a lot of clear cut chances. We created a lot of half chances. And this was nice build-up play. Hancock crossed it in Averson with the finish at the back post. But like I said, I've changed things up defensively and it seems to have worked much more solid at the back. But Mark Ball with another hat-trick. His second Regen Rovers hat-trick already. He's got 10 goals this season. Unfortunately, he's injured for today's match that I'm going to show you. But this was nice. A great counter-attack. Averson, decent ball in. Mark Ball. I mean, that is that is a really good cross from Averson. It was just too far for the keeper to think about coming out for that. All the goals in the first half as well. We really were very impressive in this first half. However, look at the shots. They had so many more shots than us. They also had more chances. So perhaps we're a bit fortunate. Great volley, by the way, there from, from Mark Ball. Another assist from Averson. Two fantastic crosses. So I don't know. Perhaps this is just... It's a result that is is kind of against the run of play. Let's be honest. They they did they were the better team, 60% possession. And Mark Ball, our, our brilliant finisher, getting the ball in the back of the net three times. Akori played well. Casey played well. Sini played well. I the the, the I'm still going with four three three because we're actually coming up against more four three threes than I've ever seen. So this seems to be a good formation for League Two. But I've gone for cautious. And I think this is the same. This is I've gone for regroup rather than counter press. We're regrouping and just having that solid base, I suppose. So two matches for you today. First of all, we're taking on Oxford away from home. We played Cambridge in the last episode. Oxford today, that's nice. 
And who else are we taking on? We're taking on Northampton Town in uh, away from home as well. Now, our first game at Plumbing Park, in theory, should be this match against Cheltenham because the stadium is pretty much ready. Still saying the Silver Lake Stadium, though. However, I will show you our first match back at Plumbing Park. So there might only be one game between today's episode and the next episode. It's getting a bit bright. Now I'm going to put the blind down. Like I said, Mark Ball is injured. He's just coming back. So we're going to be playing Luke Mooney up front of Hull and Elliot Averson. Now I've changed this again. I've changed Hull back to being a deep blind forward on attack. Seems to be playing that role okay. Uh, and Elliot Everson on the left, as you can see there. The midfield trio still sticking with them, but I've changed Perry Miles to being a Carolera. So I'm tinkering here a bit, just trying to get the best out of the team, make us a bit more solid at the back. Perhaps I need to be playing regular fullbacks rather than wingbacks, but they are an automatic, so they should be relatively defensive when we've got a cautious mentality. This is the journey we made up to Oxford United Football Club today. Then pretty easy journey, only about an hour. Now I did. Paul's Big Day Out last episode for Cambridge. I think it's only fair we do Paul's Big Day Out today for Oxford. Yeah, I'd recommend going to Oxford. Nice city. Last time we were there, we actually went to the uh, Oxford United Stadium because there was a housing help to buy event thing there and kind of got the ball rolling for us to, to buy this house. So, so pretty happy memories. And yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice city. If you're local, go to it. If you're not local, maybe go to it one day. Oxford United are in the relegation zone. I think I think they're 21st. So we do need to be trying to take advantage of these situations. We've not been particularly good away from home this season, but I'm hoping going cautious will help because there'll be teams pushing forwards at home, presumably, and then we can hit them on the break. That's the plan, anyway. The pace of Luke Mooney up front. Don't have Mark Ball today, which is a bit of a blow, but hopefully Mooney will be a, a good replacement. Throw into Oxford, first highlight of the game. We've not had a shot so far. We need to. We kind of need them to get the ball, and then has oh one nil. What a strike! Pow, power. Can't do much about those. We've dropped to 16th place as it says. Northampton up next. They're in the promotion promotion places. Corner to Oxford. It's crossed in, and that's headed just wide. We've done nothing so far. We might have to think about going attacking. But let's just keep the faith for the time being. I, I think Oxford will push forward, try and get a second. Perry Miles knocks it long. We've got Elliot Averson after it. Here he comes. Elliot Averson. Lovely goal. That's what we need to do more of. Smash it long to our strikers. Perry Miles with a fantastic assist. And Elliot Averson, you know, last season, this is what he did. And he's done it again. This time playing on the left-hand side. It's his third goal of the season. Nice finish past the keeper with his weaker left foot. Oh, we're seeing he's having a poor game. We might bring on Burrows, our new left-back. Keep it up, lads. I'm pleased. I I'm, I'll take a draw, I must say. Now, Asini has either played very well this season or, or very poor. He's just a bit bipolar. So we'll bring on Burrows. We are conceding a lot more shots, though, at the moment. I, I, it might be long-range shots, but they've had seven on target. So Okoro presumably has saved six shots. I guess. He did flap at that a bit there. But here's Mooney coming back deep to collect the ball. And now, what's he going to do? He's found Perry Miles. We need Mooney charging back up there. Hancock over the top looking for Averson. Can't win the header. And here's Embleton. Come on, lads. Show some desire. Get in their faces. Win it back. Here's Thomas crossing it in. Scott. Oh, good header away. But here's Embleton. Off the crossbar. It's hoping Brazil's tired, isn't he? So Casey might bring Brazil off. Rest him. Uh, and bring on bring on Kai Chapman only 19 years old corner to Oxford half an hour to go and oh oh ah oh, how unlucky is that I mean Okoro did his best to keep that out and so did the defense but eventually Scott has managed to smash it home <sighs> that is unfortunate let's look at this again look at this Embleton Thomas I, I think it hit the post and look he saves it and it just goes in somehow and I Ah, irritated. We've got a highlight straight away, though, which might be positive. Here's Burrows. Come on, lads. Don't let that knock us down. Awusu. Oh, that's poor, though. Awusu, what are you doing there? You just knocked it into the Oxford player. Here's Scott. Oh, Casey slides in. That was lovely. But Thomas over the bar. I think we're going to have to go attacking. Do we bring on Paul McCann? Do we trust him? I do trust him. He's gone bald as well. 
Ray Rig, get your wig out. I'm gonna throw him on for Luke Mooney. We're playing as a poacher, and we'll go. We'll go attacking. I think we have to go attacking. I think we need to get in their faces a bit as well. Another corner. If we concede an oh no, a penalty. Look, their first goal came from a throw in, sort of. Their second goal from a corner. Now a penalty. Set piece at FM. Embleton to take it and scores. It's all over. Sorry, guys. It's not been our day. Uh, do we go very attacking for the last one? Let's just leave it on attacking. And we will t kick it long. Press down. Press a bit more. Higher line. Get stuck in. Let's not try and be too, too depressed. Because we were expecting this to be a very tough season. We're conceding a lot of goals. But today, I don't... I mean, it's not necessarily defensive problems. It's been set pieces. Sankot can't get his cross in. We've created three half chances, but the number of shots flying in on our goal. Maybe we need to go try shoot on sight. Perhaps that's what other teams are doing. It's Scott, not four. It doesn't deserve to be four. That's brilliant defending by uh, David Roberts. But it's crossed back in. Oh, offside, fortunately. That would have been an incredible goal. That's it. All over. 3-1 to Oxford. Our cautious approach didn't work in this game. Elliot Averson gets a goal, but set pieces let us down. Well, here we go then, guys. Plumbing Park has been expanded. It's been finished. And we've now got a 6,550 capacity stadium with 2,250 seats. The rest is all terracing. That is wonderful. Cost a hell of a lot of money though. What's our finances like at the moment? Mine is 188 grand. It's been worse. Uh, so our first home game at Plumbing Park will be... No. Has it... Oh, maybe it needs... Maybe I need to continue for it to update. Let's see. Is it... Has it been mended? It still says Silver Lake Stadium. When are we playing at Plumbing Park? What? Oh no, I hope nothing weird has happened and we can't go back to Plumbing Park. Plumbing Park expansion completed. The club will move back to their regular home ground with immediate effect teams. We're back here, but it's still showing Silver Lake Stadium on the thingy. Silver Lake Stadium. What's going on there? It's time for our second match of today's episode. Then we're taking on sixth place Northampton. They must have lost their last game because they dropped down. We are in 15th. But we're a long way above the relegation zone. It does seem that Stevenage are in deep trouble. Ebbsfleet have not had a good start to the season either. So even if we do finish towards the bottom, we, I'm hoping that there'll be a bit of a gap. Of, of course, it's still very early days, but 10 games in, you know, that you can kind of judge a little bit what your season's going to be like. I think, I mean, we haven't drawn a game. We haven't drawn a game yet. We're scoring goals. But we're conceding so many goals. We've conceded what, the third worst defence in the league. It really is leaky. But hopefully going back to Plumbing Park. Improved plumbing systems I'm sure as well. Jack Young is uh, probably implemented. I know Jack Young isn't our owner anymore. But he's still heavily involved in the club. So Northampton Town. We've well, we've never played them of course in this series. They are the favourites. Uh, I will make changes. Mark Ball is back, and in fact, Hole is injured now. So I think we're playing Mooney as the deep line forward. And Mark Ball, Mark Ball, he's still got that injury. I'm going to play, I'm going to risk him. I think I'll put a goo on the bench. Casey is dead. Uh, I think I'm going to play Matthew Everson at the back with David Roberts. This is the route that Chef took up to Northampton Town in the club coach today, then. Not too bad a journey at all. Playing in our green kit again. We've, we've played in it probably once a season on average up to this point and now we've played in it three or four times this season already which does seem very odd anyway Northampton's ta Northampton Town's team two strikers up front 4-4-2 but this guy he's only got five on finishing guaranteed to bang a hat trick then and this guy doesn't have particularly good finishing either plenty of regens going cautious away from home I, I feel like that's the way to play and possibly play that way at home as well it worked against Scunthorpe I think most teams are going to attack against us. Our reputation is so much lower than the majority. In fact, all the teams at this level have much better reputation than us. And I think that's uh, what's being accounted for here. They're just just—they're all going to be attacking, having lots of shots. Perhaps that is why we are conceded. I mean, Northampton have had five shots already inside 10 minutes. By the way, Bill of Rookie Town in third place, promoted last season as champions of the National League. And it looks like they're going to be in a promotion fight this year as well. Great stuff from them. I assume they've got a bit of money, though, to spend, I reckon. 
Here comes Northampton. That's knocked long. Good header away by Averson. Here's a Wusu. Now, can we knock it long for one of our strikers? Perry Miles. There we go. Over the top looking for Mark Ball. Can he close down? No, it's back to the keeper. And that's pumped up the pitch. But a Wusu wins the header. It's into Elliot Averson. Goal scorer in the last game. Finds a Sini just about. He's on a yellow card. We'll have to watch out for that. Here's a Wusu. Into Brazil. Toby Brazil. Nice ball to a Sini. Crosses it in. Can't find Mark Ball. That's pumped clear. Averson. Oh, my. Ma Matthew Averson. What is that? Great save, Akoro. Great save. We still believe in you. But what is that header from Matthew Averson? That is truly atrocious. And, oh, I nearly conceded from another corner. I think I'm going to have to work on defensive corners because I found a formula that was working quite nicely. And now it's all of a sudden. Uh, I, I do feel like with proper football manager updates, set pieces are the things that affected the most. Um, so I'm going to have to investigate and work on something behind the scenes in training. Maybe maybe do some training routines with defensive corners, actually. But it's nil-nil at half-time, and that's okay. I'm happy with that. Pleased with that. Keep it up, lads. Sini on a yellow. I'm going to take him off for Burrows again. Do we shoot on sight? Do we just try and... I mean, we used to score long-range goals, but our midfielders don't really have the long-range shooting ability. Brazil's got six. Parry Miles has three, but he scored some absolute bangers last season. And Awusu's got six. What do, what do our strikes have? What's Mark Ball got on long... Four... So I don't think shoot on sight is sensible for us because I, I reckon long shots have probably been toned down a bit and we don't have a long shot player. First highlight of the second half, we've only had two shots so far. That's good defending by Brazil, but then we just let them have the ball back and that's annoying as that's fired over the bar. 51 minutes on the clock. If we can get a draw today, I'll be very happy. But here come Northampton again. Come on, guys. Win it back. It's Burn. Crosses in, that's a great cross. Oh, it's just headed wide. Oh, free kick. Oh, over, fortunately. Going to play Mark Ball as the uh, deep line forward. Give that a go. Mooney to, to the right. Going to play him as support. We're going to get him to drop back really far. Tinkering a little bit. Changing the tempo and passing directness down. I'm not going to hit it quite so long because I don't... Th it's, it's, nothing's working today for us. Attacking-wise, we've just not seen anything, have we? Here's Perry Miles knocking it. Up the pitch for Elliot Averson. Back to Perry Miles. Just taking his time. We've slowed down the tempo a little bit. And maybe that will allow us to think a bit better. Here's Burrows. Into Awusu. Awusu to Toby Brazil. This is nice play. Maybe I should be doing this. Mark Ball. Uh, oh, he's found Brazil. It's just a little bit. You think we're going to lose the ball and they're going to hit us on the break. That's that's what happens in these situations. Mark Ball, come on. Round the corner to Brazil. Brazil has the shot. Oh, tipped over the bar. It's a very decent effort from Toby Brazil. And now we've won a corner. Let's see what we can do. Arusu to take it. Crosses it near post. See, I've, I'm tinkering with corners. I've told him to hit it near post, but there was no one there. So, even though I've told my defenders to be there. It's still a highlight, by the way. It's not long. Ball. Oh, it's found Moody. Oh, he has to be finishing those. It's an incredible save by the keeper, to be fair. But I want, well, that's probably the only clear-cut chance we're going to get in this game. And Northampton should have punished us. Switched off at the back there. But Luke Mooney with a glorious opportunity. If Ball had been there, oh, I swapped them round. Oh, maybe that's my fault. Going to bring on a goo. Going to give him a go. Play him as the poacher. Free kick to Northampton. And it's just wide. See, let's just pause a second. I think this cautious approach is kind of working. The, the last game, three goals basically from set pieces. This game, they've been dangerous. Northampton have been dangerous from set pieces. And they've hit, they just hit us on the break a couple minutes ago when we had that chance with Mooney. But overall, although they're having lots of shots, they're not creating loads of clear and half chances. Let's hope we can hold out for the next 10 minutes. I've got one more sub to make now. I think I'm going to make a defensive change. We're going to bring Godwin on for ball. We don't want him getting seriously injured in the last 10 minutes. Godwin will play as an anchor man. Just going to sit there. And we're just... Well, yeah, we're going to continue to be cautious. We're going to time waste a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> I'm, I'll be very happy with a draw here today. I know it's not the most exciting result. Nil-nil. We don't see many nil-nils with region rovers. Perhaps it isn't... Well, it isn't the region rovers way, but... Oh, no. Of course, saves it. 
We have to grind out results in League 2 this season. We have to just stay up, get some money in, and gradually improve the team, and then maybe build a promotion campaign in a couple seasons. You never know, it might it might change quickly. We know what we're like. We have a, a season of just sort of reflection. Oh no! Ah, oh. Harsh. Really harsh. We're not going to get a point today. Ah, oh, that's a blow. Well, we're just going to smash it long and go attacking for the last four minutes. But that is really annoying. It's a fantastic cross. And defensively, we just allowed the right winger in. And Okoro couldn't keep that out. And that's what happens when you play defensive football. You're heading for a nil now and you get punished right at the death. You switch off once. I still think cautious football is the right way to play for the time being. Especially away from home. Maybe at home we need to go a bit more attack, a bit more positive. But two defeats today, guys. I'm sorry. And I can't be harsh on the players. You know, they, they did try. And Okoro 7.1, our best player. Maybe that speaks volumes. Number of shots flying in on us. Next game, I will be going attacking. It's an easy fixture. However, I will be playing... Some some old school players, Ray Rig, Forks probably involved, Hampshire Senior Cup. Oh, it's all frozen. So we're still in 15th place, 12 points. It's been an okay start to a life in League 2. It's just been, I, I must say, there is a correlation between the way we're playing and, and the update. But I don't, we, we just we just got to accept that's the way it is. I mean, first game of the season against Crawley, we had 18 shots to their 14. Against Billericay, we lost this one, but 15 shots to 12. Leighton Orient, I think they were the better team. No, they weren't. 17 to 16. Coventry, this is the first game I played. No, wait, sorry, was it this game? Yeah. The first game with the update, they had 20 shots to 16. So that's not too bad. Was it Blackpool? What am I? No, no, sorry, the up this wasn't the update. That, that was prior to the update. So yeah, once again, it wasn't too, dis yeah, no dis massive disparity there. Then Cambridge United, we obviously thrashed them. The first game with the update was this 4-1 defeat against Berry. Playing the same style of play, same tactic against similar teams, 30 shots to 9, 27 shots to 14. Remember, prior to this, even against the against Coventry, the 4-1 defeat, 20 shots. And we had a 16 shots ourselves. The one game we did win against Forest Green, we were dominant. We were much better than them, which was strange. So that's an anomaly there. But York City. 20 shots to 15, not too bad. That's similar to earlier in the season. Scunthorpe, this is when I changed things up, but still 21 shots to our seven, despite changing things up a bit and getting the win. Oxford, 25 shots to 10, and the most recent game, Northampton, 25 shots to six. Surely, if you were doing a scientific experiment, you'd say there's something that has changed from this Berry game onwards, and I think the update has had an impact on the effectiveness of our tactic, in particular our defence, because we're just conceding a lot more shots. Not necessarily loads more clear-cut chances, but the number of shots that are flying in, there's likely to be more goals being scored, of course. It's just something to, to think about, and something for me to think about. Perhaps it's the end of 4-3-3. Maybe I need to be playing a defensive midfielder and playing two up front. We've got so many good strikers, that's the issue. That's where we are strong. But anyway, thank you. Oh, it's really light. It's just got too bright. And never mind. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching today's episode. Two defeats. Where do we go from here? I don't know whether I need to make drastic changes straight away or just tinker and try and get this system working. I think I need to tinker to start with. And then if we continue to lose games and concede lots of shots and concede lots of goals, we'll need to just have a tactical revamp for the first time for many, many seasons. But until next time, enjoy FM19. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.